Hello YouTube gardeners. Lots of transplanting going on today. It's time to get the kooks out. Got this beautiful diva here. It's getting big. It's already ready to trellis. Lots more tomatoes to get out. Malbar spinach is ready to grow outside. It's starting to climb around. Very excited for cantaloupe and watermelons are starting to pop up. And we wanted to share some great cucumber varieties with you. Like this patio snacker. It's a great cucumber plant that's compact and perfect for container gardening. I'll also be sharing the health benefits of eating cucumbers and how we grow big healthy plants to get big delicious cucumbers. And there are five handy tips we follow. These beauties are going to get planted in front of our invisible trellis and they will also climb up over the ladder trellis. They look so beautiful growing up over a ladder trellis. And if you're interested in the invisible trellis, we have a video on how we made it, but it was one of our first videos and we really didn't know about filming and making videos. So the sound is very poor. But if you're interested in how we built one, then let me know and I will share the video link. We love cucumbers so much and one of our regular weekly meals is Mediterranean night where we have all different kinds of vegetables along with some pita bread, hummus and cheese. It's absolutely delicious. So we will be growing lots of cucumbers every year and of course the health benefits are just amazing. Life Science notes, cucumbers are actually fruits, but most of us think of them as vegetables. They're in the squash and melon family and are a great source of antioxidants, anti-inflammatories, anti-cancer properties, and a good source for vitamins and minerals. And they say that the skin and the seeds are the most nutrient dense parts of the cucumber. And for us aging ladies, there is great science behind cucumbers being excellent for the skin. Slicing up a couple and placing them over your eyes reduces swelling, which is awesome for me. With these severe allergies I get, leaves me with swollen and itchy eyes often. All right, so here are a few handy tips that we do to make sure we get delicious bitter-free cucumbers. We plant in an area where they get plenty of sun and we make sure that they stay moist. Uneven moisture causes cucumber plants to get stressed out and results in bitter fruit. So we will be keeping the soil moist at all times with plenty of watering. And to retain the moisture, we will be mulching them to make sure they stay as moist as possible, especially around flowering and fruiting time. Extreme temperatures can play a part in bitter fruit also. Our growing location gets plenty of sun during the morning and midday, but in the hottest time in the afternoon, it will be in partial shade, which works great for them because cucumbers are really sensitive to high heat. So picking the right growing location is very important. You can also shade them with a shade cloth if your growing location gets too much intense heat. In addition to keeping the soil moist, we will make sure they have plenty of nutrients. We are growing our cucumbers in Edna's Best organic soil, and we have added Harvest Supreme Age Compost a couple of months ago to make sure that the cucumbers have plenty of nutrients available. We are also adding some Dr. Earth fertilizer mix to the soil because it is high in calcium. And once they're established and flowers appear, we will side dress them with some more Harvest Supreme H compost since cucumbers are such heavy feeders. We're also going to be harvesting often to make sure that the plant keeps producing. We will also be succession planting so that we could have a continuous harvest throughout the next several months. 
and following these handy tips will help achieve healthy producing cucumber plants. Also, here are a few problems to look out for. If your leaves are yellowing, they probably need more nitrogen. Watering in the morning is best to avoid fungus and mildew. And pests like the cucumber beetle. They especially liked our tomatillo plants one year, and in the past they've laid their eggs, and the little larvae have devoured the tomatillo plants very quickly. So they could get out of control quick, keep an eye out for these guys and get rid of them as soon as possible. But ultimately, keeping your cucumber plants strong and healthy is key in avoiding some of these problems. All right, so here is the seed packet information on the cucumbers that we're growing this season. We are growing Diva. They grow four to five inches long. They're super sweet and crisp and delicious. We are also growing Tanya. This is my favorite cucumber by Territorial Seeds. They produce long, slender cucumbers, 10 to 13 inches long. They're crisp, clean, and burpless and bitter free. We're going to be direct sowing some of these Japanese burpless cucumbers and this patio snacker by Territorial Seeds. A perfect container cucumber plant. You can see here produces seven inch long, crunchy, flavorful, bitter free cucumbers. And I just noticed I don't have market more out, but we will definitely be growing market more, which is bitter free and disease resistant. It's a great cucumber to grow also. All right, that's it for now. For more short videos on growing food in Southern California, hit the subscribe button. Hope you guys enjoy your week and enjoy your garden.